So what have I bought so far for a toddler adoption? Keep watching and I will tell you. Hey guys, um, today I just want to do a toddler adoption haul video. This is probably the only one you're going to get for a very long time because I'm not buying anything for until I'm like closer to doing the adoption stuff. I have a lot of debt I need to pay down first, then I need to save for the adoption, and then I'll finally get to do the adoption. So I'm trying just to pinch my pennies a bit and not spend anything. The majority of this was bought last year. Um, some of it has been kind of more recent, but I'll kind of tell you as I go. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to show you all the stuff that I've bought for my future daughter. Um, for those that don't know, I am adopting uh, internationally. Hopefully a child with Down syndrome is my goal, um, a daughter with Down syndrome. Um, and so um, I will be having a toddler anywhere, the agency told me anywhere from nine months to about 24 months, possibly a little bit older with an average around 18 months. So we'll see. And that's, I think, matching age, not coming home age. So we'll see. But anyway, most of the stuff I've been buying um, in terms of clothes, I've tried to get bigger sizes because it's easier for her to grow into something than if it's too small and then doesn't fit her. So anyway, I'll start off with some books here. So I do have a lot of books that I have on ebook version. If you want me to do like a whole like adoption book, Down syndrome book haul, like to talk to you guys about what books I have, um, let me know. But the majority I have are on ebooks. Um, or I got them from the library, read them, and returned them. But anyway, so um, there is uh, what's called a book outlet by my house. It has cheaper versions of everything. So I got some from there. So I have this one here, which is Teach Your Baby to Sign. It's like little flashcards. Um, it is actual like American Sign Language, not baby sign, which is what I wanted. Um, for those that don't know, most children with Down syndrome learn to sign. It's just an easier way to communicate for them. Um, and so I bought these to help me learn to sign and then also help them to learn to sign. Um, there's a book, where's that one? The book that goes with it, um, which just has like more in-depth like tips and stuff. Whereas this will help me more. I think this will help me teach my child more. So we have those. Um, I have, this is like, they have like a scratch and dent section, which means basically like there's a little bit of, not even that you can probably even tell, but there's like a little bit of damage to it. And like a little bit on the corners. Uh, but anyway, so for two bucks, I got this CD with um, some nursery rhymes and a book. And if you don't know, I have a small obsession with stars. So <laughs> Twinkle Twinkle Little Star is definitely one in here. Um, and I think it's nice to just have a car, like a CD for the car that has um, just some little nursery rhymes. I have a mother for Coco, Choco, whatever you want to call it. A whole dollar I spent on this book. Um, I haven't actually read the book, but um, it was on like a bunch of adoption uh, lists for books that are good for adoption, especially like interracial adoption. Um, my child will most likely be Caucasian, um, but I just, with any adoption books, um, I love them. Basically, this little bird is trying to find a bird that looks exactly like her to be their mother, um, and then um, she can't find her, but then she finds someone else to be her mother instead. That's the gist of it from what I've read online. Um, this one here, You you Were Always In My Heart, is a adoption story more like, I think it was China. Um, but I quickly read through it at the book outlet because it um, was in the religion section, which for those that do not know, I am Buddhist. So having something that's all about, like a lot of adoption books are like, oh God help uh, helped us find you and blah blah blah. And that doesn't fit with my story. So I wanted to make sure it was not actually religious, which I quickly read through it and it doesn't seem like that. So um, that was a really cute book that I saw. Um, basically is just uh, about adoption. And what other, the other thing I liked about this was it didn't mention her father like um the, the baby's father it just mentioned the mother coming to find her it didn't mention a father it did at some point say about mothers and fathers finding children but it didn't specifically show a father in the book so that i liked as a single mother um love is real i feel like this was one on an adoption list as well i quickly read through it it was a whole three dollars um and I quickly read through it and it's just like about love being unconditional and whatnot. Um I feel like it wasn't an adoption list, but I can't remember, but I came across that and I decided to get it. Um and then I got this book, which is like more of a sign language for adults. Um it kind of gives like some tips and tricks on um how to sign and how to learn to sign. So I got that. Um where'd my other books go? Uh oh. 
this book I got last summer. Um, these books I got fairly recently. This book I got last summer um, during one of my, oh, I'm going to adopt a toddler and I need to actually have something to read. Um, so this is the happy, happiest toddler on the block. I bought this from Chapters, um, which is just a Canadian bookstore here. Um, but I've read Happiest Baby on the Block, and so I'm hoping that Happiest Toddler on the Block will be good as well. Haven't read it, but it is um, on my list to read, obviously. My mom actually bought me this last fall, um, even though I wasn't, I had switched to wanting to do IVF. My mom seems to always know what I really need to be doing, and she has supported me with adoption way more than she's supporting me with TTCing um, and uh, she's very supportive of me adopting a child with Down Syndrome. Um, so this is Babies with Down Syndrome. It kind of just goes through. It, she got it from work. She works for Goodwill so um, she got it from a store, a Goodwill store and um, yeah so it's just like a newborn guide or new parent guide to Down Syndrome. I haven't read it yet because I've been reading other books but um, some of it probably won't apply because I'm adopting a toddler not a newborn um, but it's probably a good read anyway. This I got probably like two years ago now. But, uh, when did I start adoption? So this probably, no actually this has probably only been just over a year because I remember I ordered it um, after Sholva had died. So um, it's just a baby steps book. It is a baby book, but they have geared to um, single moms. They have geared to surrogacy. Um, they have it geared to um, adoption. You kind of get like your standard page. Like, so like this one says my mommy, and then you can get like different things. Like I chose to do my mommy, but you can do like my mama, my, my whatever you want to be called if you're a mommy. Um, and then I have like three pet pages because I had Sholva who passed away, I had Shadow, I think, I don't know if Shadow had passed away when I bought this, but I had Shadow, my cat, who passed away um, shortly after Sholva did, and then I have Taylor now. So, um, and then this here, so this is one of the adoption ones, so this says it's official, and you have like a spot to put a picture, and like the finalization date, and the place, how we celebrate it, and stuff like that. Um, so this is the, the pregnancy section. Um, obviously with adoption, I am going to be taking out the pregnancy section. Um, it's just like literally one page, I think, which is literally the pregnancy and then ultrasound pictures. And then there's other parts like waiting for me, my journey that led me to you, led to me, um, our special day. So like um, baby shower probably is gonna go in there. Um, and there's like gifts. I got some added pages. So like the pet pages was added. The baby shower pages was added. Um, there's some stuff about my first day. So that's like labor. So that's probably going to come out. Um, uh, but maybe not. Because the other side um, says here I world, he, world here I come. And it has like my eye color and stuff like that. And what mommy first thought when she saw me. So I might keep that. And then I will probably just fill in um, my first day as in my first day in Canada kind of thing. Um, just kind of scratch some things out from there. Um, what else is here? So um, there's some other things about the day I was born, like what was what was happening in the world during that time. My name, my heritage, um, first day I was home, some things about like my first bath. Um, I like that they do the family tree as not being a set thing you can kind of add in anything you want so like I have my one parent and then from there so I don't have um I don't have it with two parents and then I just have some like note things growth chart for the first year um which is probably going to be more like home for the first year so like when it says age one month it'll be like age one month home here's my weight and height and stuff like that um some my first doctor's visit my first words so again my first words home my first birthday my first birthday home kind of stuff um my hands like there's just all these little things my first haircut my first tooth um that fell out and stuff like that so i recently was on this because i wanted to see what um other things they had but um they don't have like the, the website used to be like baby steps booked up books.com or something like that and now it brings you to an Amazon page so I'll try to link it down below to the Amazon page um, I don't know if she's just revamping stuff and I think she had an Etsy shop too so maybe she's just redoing the business maybe it's too much to be doing so many individual pages and whatnot but anyway 
that's kind of that. Um, I don't want to talk too, too much because this is going to be insanely long. Um, I have two stuffed animals that I got. So this one I got for her on um, when I was on my cruise. And for those that don't know, when I went on my cruise, we unintentionally went on a cruise um, that is a Down Syndrome conference. So it was very enlightening for me and very informative for me. Um, even though I didn't participate in the conference, I just found it was an amazing experience to be on. So anyway, we got this. We were on the Independence of the Seas and I wanted something small for her. Um, at the time, I didn't know obviously what I was doing, <laughs> but in terms of adoption or having, uh, but I bought a stuffy. So I probably would have got the pink one if I'd known for sure that I was going to be adopt back back where I began. Um, but anyway, so we have that one. And then where did I put the other one, Taylor? Oh, there it is. So back last summer, I bought this teddy bear um, from Build-A-Bear. Me and my friend went. And when you press the, uh, wherever it is, the heart, there's like a heartbeat. I don't know if you guys can hear it. You probably can't hear it, but there's like a little heartbeat. And I had bought this uh, How to Train Your Dragon shirt. And then recently I, because you know I like stars, I picked up this dress for it as well. That is the only outfit it's ever going to get, um, at least until she comes and she can possibly bug her granny for stuff. Because I know my mom will spoil her rotten. Um, but yeah, so I just really love this bear. And I love that there's like the heartbeat inside. Um, and this is just like the cheapest bear possible. <laughs> <laughs> but I just wanted something for her um, and things like this help me get through stuff so anyway so I got that um, I have a couple cloth diapers so this one here I bought at an auction um, it's just an Ella Bella bum um, for you those that don't know uh, I plan on cloth diapering and Down syndrome children tend to potty train late um, some obviously toilet train like earlier than others um, but the average seems to be like not starting until around three so um, my child will definitely be in diapers when I get her because I will be adopting a child under three um, I'm not sure exactly how big these are going to get but cloth diapers have great resale values so anyway I got this one at an auction so I don't have like any inserts for it but I have like with it but I have a thousand and one flats and pre-folds and stuff so that's not going to be an issue but anyway this is the you are my sunshine super cute um and then i did purchase probably maybe last summer sometime and oh end of winter early spring i purchased these so these are from mother ease so this is just a cover um this one here is uh i think it's a really big one <laughs> i know that's so helpful for you guys um, I feel like this is like a large or extra large or something like that cover. So this one here should fit, I think they said up to 40 pounds, maybe 45 pounds. Um, so it is, it is a larger cover. It doesn't have like the snap downs or anything. So it's like one, it's a size diaper, um, but it is a larger sized diaper. So I thought that was nice because, um, when she's older and bigger, this will still fit her with, say, my flats or my prefolds. So I really like that because um, my Grovia is only going to fit her until about 30, 35 pounds, which children adopted internationally tend to be smaller. Um, but anyway, this, I got the cover. Um, so things might fit her longer than when I have her, uh, than when I get her. But anyway, and then I also got this one, which this is uh, all in two diapers. So sorry, this one is also just a cover. I screwed up. This is the uh, the duo. So this I this one's a large. Still doesn't say weight guides, but um, so they just like snap in there. Um, these ones here, they told me that you need to use a snap. You can't just pad fold and put them in, which is kind of frustrating. But whatever. Um, <laughs> I do have snappies, but look how thin that is. Like it is so so trim. But anyway. So depending on how big she gets and when she outgrows my Grovias, um, I might sell those off. And depending on how well these work, I might just buy a stash of these because they're trimmer. And like I said, they do go larger. So um, this is a large here. And I feel like they have an, another one that's bigger than this, but I could be wrong. Anyway, and then the last part of my cloth diaper, I bought a diaper stacker from Ikea for three dollars so I bought that um, because why not um, so the rest is clothes I don't have a lot of clothes for her and like I said I've been buying bigger sizes because 
Um, I'd rather have her grow into stuff, and I don't plan on buying much more than I have um, until I know for sure that I definitely am getting a girl, and I'm definitely getting a toddler girl. Um, and probably won't buy any more clothes until after I meet with her. Um, so I'll do a video on the timeline and what I have, the steps and stuff, but I will have to meet her a trip and then go come back home and then go back and pick her up. So I'll know sizing better once I meet her. Anyway, so I made this shirt here. Um, and if I remember, I'll try to link down below my Etsy shop, but I made this one here for her. Um, um, with the Canada Post strike, for those that don't know, I live in Canada, and Canada Post is currently striking, striking so my Etsy shop is not running, um, because I can't ship anything unless I want to pay a fortune, um, but I will link it down below just so when it does reopen, you guys have it. Um, this one here, so her name will be beginning with an E. I did a video where I didn't know exactly what I was going to name her, but I did decide on my original name. So these are both small youth, so this probably won't fit her for a good while. I mean, it's a big shirt, but that's the sizing I could get. <laughs> um, I got this one here which says live your dreams. This was from um, the Disney store. I got this for four bucks. <laughs> so this is a size four. Um, extra small size four. So again I don't know when things are going to fit her but um, I love that. I love anything with dreams and stars and stuff. So and I'm a Disney fan and I'm a stars very very addicted to star stuff so this here I got last summer at Once Upon a Child um, or was it Carter's I think it was Once Upon a Child does it say on si inside yeah children's place so this is a 4T and it's just this little dress I really like that so I got her that last summer um, shortly after I had the meeting with the adoption agency and then um, I just had to get this when I saw it it just says wishes Woo! wishes do come true so I just had to, I had to get that. It's like the same material with the like tool or whatever you call it. Um, and that was from Children's Place as well. And that's 4T. I got 4T in that one as well. Um, she'll probably be closer to 2T um, when I get her or maybe 3T um, with placement. So I'm not quite sure how long it'll take her to grow into things. That's why I don't want to buy too much because I don't want to buy stuff in 2T and have her outgrow it or not fit into it be to begin with. But I also don't want to have a bunch of 4T stuff lying around that she's not going to fit into for years. Um, there's a lot of Down syndrome children who are smaller to begin with. And then with international adopted children, they tend to be smaller to begin with. So um, like I've read stories about an 18 month old that's like the size of an eight month old kind of thing. So it's really hard to say, okay, well, she's going to be around two. I'm going to get 2T stuff um, or 3T stuff when really she might only be in 12 month stuff like it's hard to say what she's gonna fit or who knows she could be a bigger and she could be on 4T stuff so I just don't want to buy a whole lot and like I said I'm trying to save money and whatnot um so yeah I'm trying not to spend too much um so yeah that's it for today I hope you enjoyed my pre-adoption toddler haul um like I said you probably aren't gonna get another one because I don't have anything to buy um I do have some craft stuff that I've made or making um so I can show you guys that stuff when I'm finished with it um art is like my therapy so I tend to make a lot of craft stuff I'm getting back into crocheting because I love 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 making stuff crocheting so I'm gonna do that and then um hopefully learning to sew so I might sew some things we'll see um but for now, that's it. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to follow me on this journey and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to post them down below. Thanks for watching and I shall see you guys later. Bye guys.